What's up guys, this is Weds. You're here to learn how to solve the Tiller's Rest Safe Room puzzle. So this could be quite frustrating. So if you don't find this in your campaign, so you need to re-roll from your adventure. So on your adventure, you need to re-roll low sum and you need to make sure you start at Moore's Parish. So this is going to be your best bet to actually get this safe so when you get into the scheme you can see that you see the blue men the crazy men that you're going to encounter so you can just use this as a point of reference to orient yourself but basically you are going to need to look in each and every corner of the area to see if you can find it now you see where i am right now and you can see the blue uh, indication that's loot or safe or whatever that may be but that's an indication that there is some rewards for you to have so basically you will not see this until you actually get to the area so but the way that you can distinguish that there is something there is where you see where i stand now at the edge you won't see that little thing that looks like a bridge but you will see like a kind of broken line it's not going to be a solid line. It's going to be a broken line. And that's how you know that this is going to be something there. But once you walk into it, then it will show on the map. But otherwise, it would not show on the map. But that's the reason why I said you need to make sure that you look in each and every corner of the area. That way, you can find the safe. So now that you orient yourself, so, you, so if your map doesn't look like this, don't worry. Just make sure that you look in the corner if you don't find it that you might have to re-roll because i re-rolled a couple times before i was able to find this so once you know that you find the area so it's gonna look like this so it's gonna be a crawl space and then you're gonna go in there now when you go in there this is the safe and then the first set of numbers gonna be right here now the way you distinguish where to place the number on the safe is where that number is located there's a three numbers so the one which is the first number that we find is going to be in the third column so it's, that's where you're going to put the one so it's three two one four so one it is glowing so as you can see if i turn the flashlight on it's glowing so that's how you know that's the number and then my second set of number that i found in the room was right here as you can see so if I turn the flashlight on, the number is 2653. The 3 is in the last column. That means when I have to put it in the safe, it's got to be the last number. So make sure that you write them down on a piece of paper. That way you remember the position of the numbers. And then my third number, set of number that I found was right here. So it's an 8. As you can see, it flashes and then it's glow. So you got to like stand at a certain distance to actually make it glow. And then, so you can see the eight is on the second column. So I know that the eight is going to be my second number when I put in the safe. And then for my last set of number is right here. As you can see, you got to be at a certain number. Because if you go too close sometime, you won't be able to see it. So you got to be at a certain distance to try to kind of, you know, just make keep using the flashlight. And then the five is in the first column. So that is going to be my first number. So once you write them down and then you just come to the safe. So now once I wrote everything down and I know where the numbers are placed. So I'm just going to come to the safe and I already know the number. I already put the number. So I remember the five where it was in the first column. And then remember the first number that we find was one. It was in the third column. So this is why I placed them. So once I got all the numbers set up, then I just go and press the corresponding button and then it's going to open it. And as you can see, then I can get my reward. That's the rusted heirloom. So that's all you need to know, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.